pretty much is the same sequence as uh, how we write a counting equation. So let's take a look at trial balance examples. And as I mentioned earlier, the sequence here, we start from assets, then we list liabilities balance, then we list equities balance. At the end, what we want to make sure is that the debit column equal the credit column. We want to make sure that earlier, during the process of posting things from journal to ledger, from ledger to trial balance, everything has been posted on the right side. So meaning if at the end, doing one of the trial balance sheet, you figure out the debit side do not equal the credit side, then that means something is wrong before. So you have to go back to check some of the uh, transactions. And later at the end of this chapter, I'll be showing you some of the shortcuts, how you can get to some of the transactions that possibly went wrong before. OK, so trial balance, again, you have to know this is an internal document. This is not the same as balance sheet. So even though it captures pretty much almost a whole set of information, but it's not disclosed to the public, it's just internal for internal usage purposes. Okay, let's take a look at a trial balance example. So here's a trial balance for April 30th. Pretty much summarizes all the transactions that happens in April this entire month. We would start from listing all of the asset accounts. Okay, you see cash, accounts receivable, office supplies, land. And then you have liability account and equity account. And then equity is specific usually, which is listed based on the sequence as, we, as I um, as we discussed the accounting equation, the equity elements, we start from externally generated fund, and there's dividends, service revenue, and all the expenses. Okay, we start from externally generated fund, and then later on the accounts were internally generated revenues, and also the expenses that the company used up. Okay, so this is just a general sequence. Now, in terms of the detailed account sequence, you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so in this week's homework, you will have an example of doing, a uh, problem of doing trial balance. Just make sure that you group all the assets in the beginning section, middle part liability, later part equity. Okay, now you see the debit and credit column there. Now remember, all the assets will be under, you will see the balances under the debit side because these are the information that we copied from ledger to trial balance. So remember, all the assets, normal balance is on the left side, so you see all the assets value on under debit column. But for accounts payable, the opposite. Normal balance on the credit side, so you see the balance under the credit column. Common stock, equity account again. Equity account, when it increases, it's on the credit side. So you see common stock, credit side. Dividends, dividends. And all the expenses are exceptions. So when we have these incurs, it's the, uh, we will post it under the debit side. It reduces stockholders' equities value. Revenue, just like common stock, retain earnings, normal balance is the right side. Okay, so again, the purpose of doing all this at the end, we want to make sure that these two, debit column balance and credit column balance, equal to each other. Okay, this is the goal here. The goal for doing the internal document trial balance is to make sure that debit and credit equal to each other. If these two do not agree with each other, then we have to go back to ledger to double check some of the transactions, whether we have been posting it to the right side. Okay, so if we go back to this example here, if we were to list the trial balance, we'll actually find a piece of paper, try to list the trial balance and see what is the total debits and total credits. So based on these black balances here for each and every T account, 
try to figure out the balance of debits, the total debits, and the final summary number of total credits and see if they are the same. Anybody figure out the balance for debits and credits? 51,000. Other answers? 53,600 for both sides, debits and credits. All right, let's go over this together. So where do we start from? If we were to do a trial balance, what are the first few accounts that we'll be listing? Start from cash. Accounts receivable, medical supplies, and all of these are under the debit side. Right? So you have $26,400, you will have $8,000, I'm just omitting the accounts here, and you will have $14,000 here. Okay. Now the next one would be which account? We will have accounts payable, $14,000. will be under the credit side because liabilities, normal balance is the credit side. Okay, now what about the other ones? You have common stock under the credit side. You have $29,000. $29, Service revenue. Revenue is an equity account. Normal balance is increasing on the right side. We also have $8,000 on the right side, credit side. There is rent expense. Opposite rule compared to revenues. So it will be on Okay, so basically you'll be adding up the left side of the amount to the right side. It will give you at the end $51,000 on the left side and $51,000 under the right side. Okay, so you'll be adding these $3 amount, the assets categories, with also rent expense. The right side, credit side, you have common stock, you have revenue, also... Um, Liability account, $14,000. Yes? Um, 
Oh, for trial balance, just by the, the term of this internal document, we'll be only using the balance. So meaning all the blue num uh, all the black numbers here. Okay, so just the balance for each and every account. We'll not be capturing the detailed changes for each account. Okay, because we're trying to get to financial statements, which should be a summary of all the transactions. So these examples are fairly simple because there's only a few transactions. But in reality, daily transactions in a corporation could be hundreds and thousands. Right? So, and then if you add up an entire month or entire quarter, it's even more than that. Right? So this information is just a summary of multiple transactions. At the end, the balance for each and every account. Right? So the whole purpose of trial balance is to make sure left equal right at the end. Now, some of the exceptions here, and in case you find the left do not equal the right. So there are some of the shortcuts here that may be able to help you to trace